Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today I am at the Gainesville Hackerspace and I have a fun little project I would like to do on the laser cutter today. I was talking with a couple of members here at the Hackerspace and we thought it would be a great idea if we had some kind of little uh, laser cut memorabilia that we could give out to people that come visit the Hackerspace. Uh, so we were brainstorming ideas and we settled on a, uh, a little keychain. So this is just a laser cut acrylic little keychain that says the Gainesville Hackerspace. And it also has a, uh, a ruler on it. So it has millimeters and inches uh, on the keychain itself just so that it has some use and people would feel, you know, a little bit more uh, comfortable kind of carrying this around because it's not just another hunk of acrylic hanging off your keys. It could actually have a purpose. So this is the project today. So let's go see how I designed this thing and then let's watch it get cut out on the laser cutter and I can discuss some of the, uh, the interesting aspects of this laser cut keychain project. So let's get to it. In order to make the keychain, I've used a couple different technologies here. The first one for the keychain itself, uh, I've used Onshape. And this is a very simple design. You can see that I only have uh, a very simple outline for the, the keychain, just a couple half circles, a circle for where the keychain will loop through. Just gave it a few dimensions there. And then uh, to add a little bit of pizzazz and usefulness to this, um, I also added some ruler markings. So these are just sketches done up and on shape. Um, nothing too special about it. It looks a little confusing um, just because of the way that uh, I did a repeating pattern here. Um, but it's not that bad, and then there was just a couple of uh, text in here to mark it as millimeters and inches, and also for the uh, actual numbers there. Uh, so overall, a very simple design. And then what you can do is, once you have the design in on shape, uh, you can just right-click each of these sketches and export as DXF. Uh, so it'll give you a little prompt, and you can export them. Uh, so that's what I've gone and done, is I've exported these two drawings. And then what I did is I imported them into CamBam, and CamBam is what we'll uh, use to actually create the G code that the laser cutter works off of. Uh, so you can just import the DXF directly. Now, with the logo for the Gainesville Hackerspace, uh, that's a little bit of an issue because the logo itself is just a PNG image that one of the, uh, the Hackerspace members created. So this isn't a vector file at all. So we need to convert that to a vector file. So here I'm in Inkscape, which is a free program that you can download. Um, it gives you a lot of uh, really good tools for working with vector graphics. And it also has a really neat uh, ability to convert PNG and uh, bitmap, basically any of these kind of image files, to vector files. So what you can do is once you've imported that image, this is just a, a PNG file, I can go to path and trace bitmap. And this will open up the little prompt. Uh, you can adjust some settings. I used the default settings and it worked great. So I just clicked OK. And you'll see that the background updated, so I can close out of here. And here we have the original image at the bottom, and then the new vector image up top. So I can go ahead and delete that original image. And you can tell this is a vector image by if you go to fill and you start playing around, uh, you can actually adjust the colors. So this shows that it is, in fact, a true vector image. Um, and then from there, you can just go to File and uh, Save As, and then you can save as a DXF file directly here. So that means that I can also open that up in CamBam, and this is the resulting uh, DXF created by that logo, or by uh, Inkscape. So what we can do is we can then grab this logo, and I'm gonna make sure that I grabbed all of those places. I don't want the, the outside border, so I'm just gonna highlight the interior. I'm gonna press Control C to copy it, come over here, paste it in, and you can see that it's uh, not the right size that's for this scale. So I can just simply resize it and say that I want this to be 40 millimeters. And then I can move it back where I want it. And there we go. Uh, so now we have a very simple keychain uh, all marked up in CamBam. So then from there, I can go ahead and uh, duplicate these. So it's just a matter of copying one, pasting it in a bunch of times. And then I have my 4x2 grid of keychains, and we're ready to put in all of the, uh, the machine operations. So the, the letters, all the interiors are going to be pockets, because uh, they're going to be engraved, and then simply a profile around the outside uh, to cut them all out. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to tell it to generate toolpaths, and then we will have all of the toolpaths created. So this will take just a couple of seconds. 
And there we go, after just about a minute it took to generate all these tool paths, uh, it looks like it turned out great. So now we can go save this and bring this over to the laser cutter and watch it do the engraving and cutting out these keychains. Okay, it's been about an hour and 40 minutes since I've had it running and the engraving portion of it is done. So let's open this up and you can see that we have uh, eight of these just in a row. They have not been cut out yet. Uh, they've just been engraved, but it, it turned out pretty well. I was anticipating maybe a little bit of vibration would happen as this is moving back and forth. Uh, that jostled the acrylic around, but we put a little bit of tape and everything seems to have maintained a uh, pretty solid connection there. So nothing's been moving, doesn't seem like anything's misaligned. Uh, so it looks like the eight at a time is going to work out well. And we could actually probably bump this out to 12, maybe 16 or so, um, depending on how far over here we want to go. Uh, just so that we have more that, that gets cut at a time when we press run. Uh, so we don't have to wait here and change out materials quite as often because we want to have a pretty good stockpile of these around uh, just so that when people come and visit, we can hand them out and I think that'd be pretty cool. So now that the, uh, the engraving portion's done, let's actually cut them out and we'll have some finished keychains. So here's one finished sheet of eight laser cut acrylic little keychains, and I did another sheet over here. Uh, so it's not too bad to set up the machine and get started on cutting out some of these keychains. And I think it was a fun little project, and I think it's going to be a great little giveaway for people that come and visit the Gainesville Hacker Space. So if you're in the Gainesville, Florida area, uh, look us up online, come visit us, and you can take home one of these nifty little keychains. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that uh, you learned something because I learned a whole lot doing this project. And it actually wasn't too bad uh, to throw together a quick little keychain and get it laser cuts. It was uh, actually a lot easier than I was expecting. So, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, be sure to click the like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you haven't already for some more awesome projects coming on the way. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.